Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, your trainer once again. Uh, today, we're going to work with Kaji Search Tool. It's been around for about three years, but uh, it's really come on, I think, as a good search option to Google. It gives you a lot of uh, uh, control over uh, uh, filtering and things like that. Um, I think you'll really like it. It's a paid tool. You get 100 free searches up front to decide if you really want to spend any money on it. It's $5 monthly after that. It's not bad. Um, so we'll do a query in that. Then we'll also play with a chat bot called Duck, Duck AI, uh, which is made by the folks at DuckDuckGo. No surprise there. Um, so in our description for this video, you'll have links to both of these tools, uh, as well as uh, the two queries in, in the prompt down here for Duck AI. Uh, so you'll have those in there if you want to just copy them out of there, or if you want to hit pause right now and open up Kaji.com, K-A-G-I.com. Just use a free version and Duck AI. All right, welcome back. Uh, by now, uh, you should have uh, Kaji and Duck AI set up uh, and ready to go. I'm um, gonna start with Kaji. Um, when you first set up the account, it gives you a lot of different options. You know, we can choose a color, background, things like that. Um, it, what I really like though is the controls down underneath. It just gives you more options than Google does. You like even in its advanced search. Um, some of these look familiar. You can search images, video, news, podcasts. I mean, you see that in just about any search tool. Well, you can filter things out by time and uh, order, how you want it ordered, what country you're searching from or searching in, uh, you know, uh, anything you want. It does have an advanced uh, button down here, very similar to Google's. Uh, but I think what sets it apart uh, is over here under the more button. Um, it allows you to choose what you want to search with. So you can search with just one of these tools, Wikipedia, Wolfram, or Bing, or you know, Google Maps, whatever, Google. Um, and then you can go in and customize. And if I want to filter anything out, I can just turn it off. Um, I can get rid of it altogether if I want. Um, but you know, I can just turn that off and you know, I'm not gonna uh you know spend any time on uh on Wikipedia for anything. But the rest of these uh, are potential things that I might want to search for my query. Um, and so I'm doing this in July of 2025, and we had just uh, uh, had some uh, terrible floods uh, in the state of Texas, just just awful, um, uh, you know, uh, hundreds dead, uh, you know, many more missing, uh, really, really bad. So I'm curious about the science and research on the worst floods in Texas history. So I'm just dropping that in there, just, a, you know, a general search uh, term. You might notice off to the right here, I've got a little AI plugin too that'll use chat GPT 4.0 as a mini response. This is a part of Kaji. It'll just drop this in. It's just a, a little uh, bot that I've got working. You turn it off to click the X and get rid of it. Um, that's fine. Um, but, uh, you know, here it gives me uh, under all, uh, you know, kind of my quick answer. It gives me, you know, flash flood alley, um, you know, the most recent news story. Um, and some, uh, you know, some of the key factors, kind of a quick answer. Uh, it gives me my footnote notifications of where the information comes from. You know, you want to make sure, you know, it's coming from, uh, you know, legit uh, news sources and, and research, you know, live science is well known. Uh, Yale Climate Connection site, you know, many others here. Uh, and it lists the uh, sources down here, too, that you can look through. Uh, and then uh, your links here. Uh, you can go even deeper into them, um, uh, you know, with the more res search results from this site, you know, it's really nice, you know, so it gives you a nice orderly response. Um, it also gives you things like lenses if you want to uh, focus it down to just academic journals or you know, you're only searching for PDFs, uh, things like that. Um, you can filter all this out uh, as well. So, uh, you know, nice little uh, quick search tool. Um, you get a hundred free ones and, you know, I think it's worth five bucks a month because I do use it enough to, uh, to take advantage of these things. You can go in and, and add back, back in any of those search tools uh, that you originally filtered out. Um, it's, you know, produces some good results for videos and, and images as well, things like that. Um, so, you know, just, you know, spend a little time with it. A lot of these are the latest news stories on the floods um, you know, most of them coming from YouTube that all the Texas stations and national outlets have been uh, reporting. I might narrow it down a little bit more to just the science of it, but you're getting a lot of news up front here. Um, but you could, I, I could narrow my original query down just a little bit more to get more of what I wanted. Um, uh, so that's Kaji. You can share your searches as well with uh, others on your team if you're uh, doing research as a group or something like that. Um, so that's Kaji. 
Um, Duck AI is a chat bot, not a search tool, but a chat bot. Um, no surprise, uh, you know, it's made by the folks from DuckDuckGo. Um, it has uh, the Llama 4 model uh, as well as Claude 3.5. Um, I'm in its 4.0 mini model right now. Uh, I mean, you can go through and, and pick any of them you want. Um, it runs Mistral, uh, uh, ChatGPT 4.0 mini. Um, but I'm going to uh, stick with my 4.0 mini uh, for now. I'm not going to venture off into Claude or Llama. Um, very simple chat. You know, uh, the chat bar is down here at the bottom. Keeps lists of your uh, chats down here. I do delete mine out uh, as I go. Um, this is one I just did a little bit earlier. Um, uh, it, uh, you know, Duck is well known for its, it doesn't train on any of your information. It's got great security. It talks about it uh, in its active, pri active privacy protection uh, down here at the bottom. You can also look in your settings as well. You can adjust your, you know, uh, uh, design and stuff like that. Um, if you want to have approximate location on, you know, uh, enable my recent chats. Do I want to keep them stored? I have that turned on, but, you know, I can delete them off as I go. Um, just if I want to save work. Um, but, you know, if I turn that off, uh, then it won't save anything. You know, you have to capture the information on the screen uh, right away or, you know, it's going to eventually go away. It's not going to store it in the toolbar over here. It's a nice feature, um, you know, especially if it's something really sensitive and you want a secure chat bot uh, that you can work with. Um, good option. Um, so if you go into your description, um, you're going to see uh, that I'm wanting uh, to take this, uh, you know, uh, technical uh, a piece of writing here and rewrite it uh, into an eighth grade level. Um, and that does a pretty good job of that, uh, you know, recasting something and rewriting something. So um, so what I often use chatbots for, you know, edit this or rewrite this or recast this uh, to a more academic level. And uh, here's what it gave me, you know, uh, uh, this was kind of the more wordy academic writing up here. Um, and then it tightened it quite a bit too uh, and rewrote it into uh, a more basic uh, in more basic language than what we would see. And you can copy it out of here, download the uh, chat. Uh, you can switch to different models right out of here, which is really nice too. So if I wanted to go uh, over to, to Llama Scout, um, it would uh, take its shot at it. Um, and a little longer, um, a little tighter paragraphs, but several paragraphs instead of just one big long one. Uh, makes it a little more scannable and easy to read. So that's something I'd probably note, you know, in, in my future uh, queries on here. Um, but do go back, you know, and delete these out as you go. Um, you know, I, I usually kill them as I go here uh, and start fresh. Or uh, if you're worried about it, uh, you know, you can uh, uh, go in and uh, uh, into your settings here uh, and uh, uh, yeah, turn off location and turn off enable recent chat uh, chats. Um, you also can give it some feedback, which I always encourage you to do uh, as well in any tool. Um, so that's two, you know, quick and dirty tools that you can take and use. They're both listed on Journalist Toolbox, which you see right here. It's journalisttoolbox.ai. Uh, you can open up any of my pages. It covers all kinds of different AI tools. Uh, the most recent are listed at the top under what's new. Then you have some training videos um, and uh, links to various tools uh, in short descriptions about them. Uh, many times, too, I mentioned if they're paid tools or free tools. Um, you can take and use uh, anything you like out of here. Uh, my videos are listed on a YouTube channel, linked off the right-hand rail here under Engage. Uh, we've got uh, more than 125 training videos there and a newsletter that comes out every other Tuesday morning. Um, so this is the YouTube channel. You can subscribe to it for free uh, and get updates at any time. Uh, we put up an, anytime we put up a new video. Uh, so there's more than 125 of them listed here. AI tools, uh, uh, editing video and audio on your phone, uh, you name it, data tools, data visualization, data analysis, data scraping. Um, so all kinds of goodies up here, and they're all free, um, just like the website. Um, our uh, Substack newsletter is free as well, though you can donate if you like. Uh, it comes out every other Tuesday morning around 8 a.m. Eastern time. Um, and typically I focus on one topic or one tool or set of tools. This one was about a script and video uh, making uh, 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 maker tool called Sofiana. Um, it's built by a journalist, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can see here you can paste in uh, your article or research notes. It'll create hooks and a little teleprompter script. Uh, so you can share your uh, story uh, over TikTok or uh, Instagram or any of the socials. It's really good at you know uh, uh, taking a longer piece uh, and morphing it down into 
more digestible social media script, um, which is something that AI does really well. It takes existing content and repackages it, reimagines it. It's one of the best uses of it journalistically right now. Um, listed here uh, are a bunch of other tools and resources you can pull off the internet. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, always list a few of them there. Short read, you can get through it in about five minutes. Um, we also have added to the right rail uh, a custom GPT. Uh, you build a custom GPT and train it on Journalist Toolbox. Um, so you can uh, go click on that on the right rail. It will take you to Chat GPT uh, and uh, straight into the Journalist Toolbox uh, uh, custom GPT. Uh, and you can go in. It's got some base prompts here, but you can write yours down here and ask it for advice on various tools. You know, I'm looking for a good image creation tool or a good uh, uh, data analysis tool. Uh, and it will go in and recommend tools, uh, give you a short synopsis, uh, give you a, a link and the name of the tool uh, based on uh, what it finds on Journalist Toolbox. I trained it on the toolbox and also, you know, used uh, the instructions in uh, the custom GPT to tell it not to go to sites like Wikipedia or Reddit or things like that. So I've, I've filtered it. It has a little bit of web input into it, but mainly it tr is trained on Journalist Toolbox content. I um, hope you found this video useful. Um, stick around for the next one. We've got many of them coming out right now. So uh, be sure to tune in again. Thanks a lot.